You know what? I've been trying to play Battlefield 1 as of late. I don't know why, considering since the game has come out, I've only played it for 30 hours. I, I don't even know what the map is, but it's out, been out for what, six, seven months, and I only have 30 some hours into it, probably 33. What does that translate to? Less than an hour a week? Like, what the fuck? Now, before, Battlefield, I always felt wasn't that great. You know, Battlefield 1, I was just like, uh, this is not holding me. It wasn't like Battlefield 4, it wasn't like Battlefield 3. At least those two games still had something. But I think it's the trickle-down effect. Everybody goes, Bad Company was the pinnacle. And then we've just been on a downward fucking slope, where Battlefield 1 seems to be the new low for shit snackery. First off, the fucking medals, dude. Like, it's the stupidest system ever. Now here's why I'm pissed with it. I was trying to do the sniper medal thing. I'm like, boom, 10 headshots, five kill streak. That should knock off two things on my medal thing. And I look and the game goes, no, nope, first you have to get 20 kills before you can do the 10 headshots and then the five kill streak without dying. Then it counts. It's the dumbest shit ever. Who ever heard of a list where you had to go down the list in a specific motherfucking order? Yeah, maybe if you're in chemistry, or maybe if you're doing, um, you know, a, a bypass on an artery for someone's fucking heart, it makes sense to follow a regimented rule of checklist, but not a fucking video game. It's like going to the store, and you say to yourself, hey, I need some breakfast treats. I want some milk. I want some orange juice, I want some eggs and bacon. But then you walk up and you notice that the fucking milk and the orange juice are next to each other and you say to yourself, no, I have to walk to the other side of the fucking grocery store because I have to get the bacon first. It was on my list first. Who the fuck thought this was a good goddamn idea? God! Get good. Fuck you, dude. All right, I don't have a fucking life to waste on gaming, dick lick. Whenever someone says, get good or your aim's bad, here's why. I got a life, fuckwit. Just cause you got the time to sit here and develop muscle memory for this fucking game doesn't mean that I do. Unlike you and most motherfucking adults in the world, we got bills to pay and shit to take care of so assholes like you can sit there and have good aim in Battlefield 1. If your aim's so good and fantastic that you have to tell me how shit my aim is, here's a newsflash, fuckwit. How come you're not a pro, dick licker? I don't wanna hear shit from you cause you're not level cap or jack frags. And on that note, Level Cap and Jack Frags are only playing this shit because that's how they make their goddamn money. I bet Level Cap cries quietly in his fucking bed when he wakes up and realizes the next day he's got to make a Battlefield 1 video. Lottie friggin' da. This game's so much fun, barely anyone plays it anymore. Trust me, it's still good. EA isn't paying me too much. In the Battle Packs, dude. Oh my shit, the Battle Packs. I guess I didn't notice this the first time around because like I just played Battlefield in with my clan and like, come on dude play Battlefield. I'm like Battlefield isn't that great but whatever I'll play with you. And I didn't pay attention to how shit the battle packs were. But now, guess how many battle packs I've unlocked dudes? I think like two. Two. After playing this shit for hours. Oh my fuck. You know, it's not cool when you put in a 40 or 50 minute match and there's no battle pack for you. You know, fuck you. Do better in the game. Like, what the fuck happened to the old system of if you leveled up, you got a battle pack? Now it's like, eh, nah, it's Russian roulette. The really good players can get a battle pack, and then some shit snacks like yourself might get one another fucking two hours later. I was on Reddit, and this one dude said, Well, you know, keep playing operations. I get two or three battle packs a day, but, you know, I play all day. And I'm sitting there like, Are you serious? You sitting here telling me. You play Battlefield for like six or seven fucking hours and you got two battle packs or three and you feel like you're getting over on the system. Holy shit, dude. Your fucking mother must have been eating paint chips when she was pregnant with you. I'm fucking for real here, man. You have to give up an entire day for two or three fucking battle packs, dude. The game is fucking you out of the most precious commodity of your life. And that is time, dude. One day you're gonna fucking be dying of some disease or maybe you're gonna get old and you're gonna look back while you're laying in bed. I wish I didn't spend so much time on Battlefield 1. Ah! And then you're gonna die and you're gonna be like, oh my God, Grandpa. If only Grandpa didn't play Battlefield 1 for eight hours a day when he was in his 20s like a fucking douche. He could have accomplished something a little more. Gundam, I think you're being very extreme. 
Okay, you're right. Maybe a little extreme. I mean, shit, my day is derived of putting a car up on some goddamn stands and trying to fix my brake caliper issues because I let my mother drive my car and she fucked it up, you know? But still, at least I'm developing a fucking skill. I feel like the battle packs are designed like this specifically so EA could try and weasel more money out of the people. The most douched move ever. Ah, season pass. Ah, we're gonna fucking lock most of the factions in World War One behind a paywall. That isn't douchey at all. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. And they're like, well, if these assholes want battle packs, they'll have to really play hard, or they'll have to pay us, hmm, hmm, feagly fee all the money. God, you know what other game did this stupid move that's dying right now? For Honor. Fucking foreign developer. Well, we designed the game so you know, like an MMO. Not everybody is going to unlock everything because they only work on one class of character. And I'm like, you fucking son of a bitch. Do you know how much it would cost you to unlock everything if you pay real world money? 700 in like 34 fucking dollars. Or it would take something like four years of your life to unlock everything? Fuck you, Ubisoft. Fuck For Honor. You fucking money hungry sons of French dicks. Uh, you know, we designed like a MMO? MMO my dick, bro. This isn't a fucking MMO. This is like a smash and beat em up that requires some skill, but often skill is trumped by random hackery. Good God, even Bruce Lee himself said, rehearse routine, can't keep up with broken rhythm, and then he beat the shit out of a dude with nothing but a fucking bamboo stick. He's like, see, broken rhythm. And I'm like, God damn, I'm gonna remember that, Bruce. You know, you get in a fight with a guy and he's like, I'm gonna beat your ass. Then you like start doing some moves like, you know, karate. And then you turn around and you just kick a table. That dude's like, what the fuck? Did you rub me? Poke him in the eye. That's how I fucking do it. My martial arts style is called the gay tarantula. You aren't even ready for that shit. Gundam, I sense a great deal of anger in your soul. I bet Jedi's didn't play Battlefield 1. They'd all fall to the fucking dark side. Hmm. Fear leads to hate. Hate. Leads to anger. Anger leads to suffering. Or whatever the fuck Yoda said, while like Manic and Skywalker just scowled at him. I'm like, God, this dude cannot act. You'd think that dude who scored Anakin Skywalker as a fucking job would have said to himself, I better invest in some acting lessons, because my first movie, I really seemed like I was dead. No, he, he stayed the course, kept acting like a goddamn mannequin. Now, do you see him in any movies anymore? No, because he sucks. Gundam, you're on fire. I sense a great deal of rage. Ah, God. I'm just upset with myself. I spent that much time playing Battlefield just to find out, after really, really trying to play Battlefield, I don't like it as much as 4. In fact, I kinda hate it. It's like, fuck this game. I feel like DSP. Play that shit like, I'm done. I've had it. This is ridiculous. You're telling me that I've got this guy dead to rights. I fire my, I'm using a sniper rifle. I shoot through a glass window. The glass window shatters, and I guess it stopped my bullet. And I'm just like, are you serious? And a guy looks back at me, and he's a shit shot, and like, he misses. And he, instead of like, moving, he just stands there, reloading. And I'm just like, fine. And I shot him in the head. And it's just like, goddamn game. I had to break the glass to shoot a motherfucker in the head. Fuck this. I wish I recorded it, because that was retarded. You know what? I'm out of here. I'm not even going to say rate, comment, subscribe to this shit. This shit's probably going to have people going, God, this channel used to be good until he started speaking his mind. <laughs>